So this is just going to be another loopy QB recipe kind of thingy because they're fun and interesting and quite easy to do. I mean Wings 3D, right click and create a cube. And the first thing to do is to select four of the faces. So not the top and bottom one, just the four around the outside and use mirror. And that creates this cross shape. That's what you're looking for. Now select these four faces on the outside of that. Right click, rotate, hold the, which key is it this time? Shift key and normal and rotate round and watch the figure on the top left hand side and you want 90 degrees. And that's the figure you're aiming for each time when you do some rotation. The next step is to use extrude, normal and holding the shift key down, extrude the faces so that you have another cube on the end of those twisty bits. Right, you're selecting these faces on the inside now, so you've just got to figure out which ones they are, make sure you've got all of them selected, and then extrude again. And again, holding the shift key down, you're extruding to make a face. Don't deselect those faces, because at this point you can right click, rotate, normal, and holding the shift key down, again, you are aiming to get 90 degrees. Right, to avoid overlapping cubes in these corner, just deselect a couple of these faces. That, uh, that are facing into the corner and then extrude again normal and that fills in the corner cubes without any overlapping. The next step is to deselect everything, press space to do that and then select these top faces. So there's nine faces there to select, right click extrude, shift key down normal and create more cubes, right click again rotate normal shift key down and you're rotating and you're aiming for 90 degrees again. That is the shape we're going to duplicate twice now. So select the entire shape with the Select Entire Shape tool. Go for Duplicate, Y, hold the Shift key down and duplicate it so it now sits on top of itself. Right click again, Duplicate and Y and again so that it just sits on top of itself. Then line the view up so you're viewing this top level of, if you like, crenellations and select all those sections at once. So you've just got the top bits and hit the Delete key nearly there now, select the entire shape tool, drag and drop over the whole thing, right click and weld and that should weld all the appropriate corners together. Now to extract interesting shapes from this for example you could select one of these edges, press G so that's um, I think it's face loop, then select faces, right click and use shell extrude, normal and use the control key if you want uh, smaller steps and go for like uh, 0.3 and then select both these objects now so you've got two separate objects and use a smooth command so press smooth 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 and then you can see hopefully that you have this interesting arrangement where you've got a cube with holes in it and this strip running around and looping over and under through it but not really crossing itself, which uh, is quite interesting, I think. So there you go. That's a fairly quick recipe to create quite a complex shape that you can use now and render in the render engine of your choice. Uh, do remember that if you want to uh, use Octane, for example, you need to separate this materially, which can be done by right clicking. Oh, oh in face mode. I have to forget that. Right click and then right click on material and then you can create a new material for that and go OK. I don't worry about assigning it any properties because I'll do that in the render engine and then you can have if you look on the outliner here a new material and default so that will separate it when you bring that object into your render engine. Bryce is clever it can identify separate objects um, it only gets a bit confused when you start incorporating a lot of objects in your export, but things with keeping things fairly simple here, it's not a problem for Bryce. Okay then, that's the end of the video. I hope you found that interesting, useful, and that you'll have a go at creating one of these shapes yourself in Wings 3D.